you know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. I was five. I was just playing with my friend like on the street, like uh, street ball, like six against six. I usually do the same thing like uh, other child was doing, be with my mom, go to school, have a lunch, have dinner, because I didn't live with, with my father, and my mom was my father and my mother at the same time. December 2006, my cousin told me that I'm leaving for the U.S. in two days. I was like, I was shocked. I was so happy because I was happy to come and see my mom. She came like four years before me. When I came here, I first see my mom, I was so happy. And I was living in Maryland where I went first to school. There was no soccer. I was like, hey, mom, please, I need to play soccer. Please can you find a place where can I play soccer? And that's how I moved to Norfolk. In Norfolk, I live with uh, my coach. My coach is from Africa, he's from Morocco. He's a good guy, and I learned a lot from him. The coach from New York talked to him about me some summer. I was excited because his wife was talking about New York all the time. I remember like six months ago, when I was in Norfolk, she bought me a, like a calendar, UV calendar. She was like, that's where you're going to go to school next year. One of the things that we do right away uh, <clears throat> when all the incoming freshmen come in is we all go up to the upper field and, and play pickup. You know, we do it every day. And uh, at first, you don't really know what to expect from, from players because you obviously can't judge a player just by looking at them. But I mean, it was almost immediate once we started playing. <laughs> it's like, this kid is special. The guys on the team were cool, and all that was just so much fun for me. And this kid never stopped smiling, you know? We were on the field, and all he did was laugh and smile. He didn't say a word. It's an interesting dynamic to have him coming almost from nowhere, coming in and, and having that aspect just to help us out and have that spark on the, on the field. He's so creative off the ball and he's just able to get it done so far. His body is so big that, you know, it's, it's almost impossible to, to, to get the ball from him. Just his soccer knowledge and, and uh, he's already had, he already had a, a very professional array about him. My coach from high school always told me that you got to use your body, your hand, because if you don't use it, you're going to get hurt. People gonna tackle you. That's why I always use my body and my hands when I control the ball. One thing that really helps him is that his touch on the ball is, uh, is superb, uh, and he understands that you know there's certain places where if he touches the ball in that area, nobody else in the field, or at least the person that's defending him, isn't going to be able to get it. I mean, it's only him, and he likes to post up on people as well. You know. You, know, you can try, you can try what you want, but all you can do back there is push around, and it doesn't matter because he's six foot three and you know, probably 190 pounds. He really kind of came in from off the map, and kid can play. 